people. That's the third guy this week. And they're all former jocks. Who's the weirdo? I don't know. Let's check him out. Ah! His name is Jeremy Creek. This is a picture of him 12 years ago. This is one I took four hours ago. That's impossible. He'd be like 26 today. Must be a kid who looks like him. My money was on the evil twin theory until we checked his missing persons. Jeremy disappeared from the state infirmary a few days ago where he'd been in a coma for 12 years. They say he suffered from massive electrolyte imbalance. That's why he hasn't aged a day. So you're telling me he just woke up? Well, no, there was a huge electrical storm and the hospital's generator went down. And when it came back on, Jeremy was gone. Electricity must have charged him up like a Duracell. And now he's back in Smallville putting former jocks into comas. Why? Because 12 years ago today, they chose Jeremy Creek as the scarecrow. Comatose boy found in field 20 yards from meteor strike. The exposure to the blast must have done something to his body. No, this can't be right. I think you ought to show him. Show me what? It started out as a scrapbook and just kind of mutated. What is it? I call it the Wall of Weird. It's every strange, bizarre, and unexplained event that's happened in Smallville since the meteor shower. That's when it all began. The town went schizo. So what do you think? Why didn't you tell me about this? Do you tell me everything that happens in your life? We all keep secrets, Clark.